wants you to meet Sam Best, <laughs> Best of the West, <laughs> Joel Higgins. You have, you are from my neck of the woods, I think. The Midwest? Yeah. Right? I was born in Bloomington, Illinois. Yeah. yeah. You uh, grew up it, in St. Louis. Did you? Yeah. You have an interesting background, I think, for, for this kind of a series. It's nice to hear. Your life wasn't wasted. It's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michigan State grad and Yeah, yeah. And I graduated in advertising. Uh, I don't, that was just mostly a product of the fact that I was always a performer. You know, in, in, co in high school I was in the plays and what have you, and, and I was always kind of a clown. You know, I was a class clown. I was a little whippy guy. I couldn't fight much, so I had to be funny. You know, hey, guys, it's okay. And uh, so, and I sang. And my family was musical, and we always sang. And, but at the same time, I was from a, you know, a Midwest upper middle class family, and you just didn't do this. You didn't really do this. You, know, you, you didn't, didn't really act? No, you did it on the side, maybe, but it wasn't something you did for a living, you know, coming from my family. So I did get a degree in advertising, but it was more of a, a question of that, that I should do something in a business-related field. Kind of an expected thing. Yeah, yeah. Have your family, have they outgrown that? Oh, yeah. My family never did approve necessarily but nonetheless were supportive you know if it was what he wants to do what are we going to do with yeah. him you know and i don't think they've ever missed anything i ever did i've heard you talk today about you really have a strong comedy background which really fits this series yeah it does except that uh, except that i'm the normal guy <laughs> yeah but it's but all around you is yeah, chaos and yeah i have humor. to i certainly have to know a little bit about timing yeah because i have to set up an awful lot of people what know? is this sam best like um sam is a nice fellow from Philadelphia who comes out west with a, a, a mistaken idea of what the West is going to be about. He he's he's he partakes of the American myth of the West. He thinks it's 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 sort of a gladiatorial type of thing, and uh, he comes up against the stark realities of that. The, there there are people like Leonard Fry, Parker Tillman in it, who's who are trying to take advantage of him and and. Uh, and are, are running the town in a less than respectable fashion and things like that, plus the fact that they end up moving into a one-room cabin with a dirt floor. Mm. Life is hard. And my wife, and, and his, his, his secondary problems are the fact that he's got an 11-year-old kid played by Mino Palouse, who's a Philadelphia street kid who doesn't want to be there. You know, he wants to go back home and be on the street and, uh, and complains constantly and won't go out of the cabin. And, uh, and my wife is played by Carlene Watkins, who's a wonderful actress. She plays a southern putty brain whose plantation I burned down in the Civil War, and that's how I met her and married her. Oh, nice. And she, of course, everything was done for her all her life by slaves, you know. And now she finds herself confronted with a situation she actually has to churn butter and things like that. And do you know how hard it is to churn <laughs> butter? And so it's, it goes from there. It's a funny show. Great premise. Andy Griffith? Andy Griffith. He... Was he... My my uh, my mentor in, in terms of Salvage One, the, the adventure series I did. And probably, we were talking about John Cullum before, who I did Shenandoah in Boston mm -hmm. with at the Colonial. And uh, <clears throat> both of those guys, I think I learned an awful lot from John, an awful lot. And, and Andy, I learned volumes from. He's a wonderful actor. Why is Andy known as a good teacher, I wonder? I think because he's generous. He's, he genuinely is not ever that I've ever seen been on a star trip. I don't think he would know what it's what it means really to be a star, you know. He does his work and he's genuinely interested in the product. He wants the show to be good. And if that means the camera's on you instead of him, that's fine. You're kind of that way because you have been behind the scenes as the entertainment specialist during the war, right? Yeah, I was, well, I was behind the scenes. I had to do a lot of, uh, it wasn't during the war, it was during Vietnam, Vietnam. but I was in Korea. See, I had it not. Oh. Yeah, I got I, I was anointed or something during that time. They sent me to Korea and I became Sergeant Charge Entertainment of the whole division. And so I had a wonderful time. It's terrible to say about the Army, but I did. And uh, yeah, I had to produce and direct, but I also was one of the only people I could count on to be there, so I had to perform a lot too. Yeah, but that's a great experience, Joel. Yeah. This is your first series and you talk about being generous. Will the success of this, because the network is calling you the sleeper, they're putting you in bed with, uh, with Robin Williams, and uh, you know Barton those Miller after us and, yeah, yeah those people that you know you didn't know but they have great hopes for this what would happen to you personally will it change your attitude about Joel I, Higgins I, it won't change my attitude about myself but obviously it becomes a difficult situation in terms of recognition factor I have a recognition factor to a degree because of the soap and because of salvage and what have you and it can be embarrassing sometimes but I think I think obvious it's I've been lucky in that I did have that experience 
to the degree I've had it. And now, if there is a larger recognition factor because this is a hit, I think I'll be able to handle it, hopefully, without being changed around much. That's great. I hope so. And I wish you lots of luck. It sounds terrific. Thank you. Best of the West. Sam Best. Joel Hicks.